Hello and welcome to Kushti TV, the straight talking YouTube channel. Today we're straight talking on Gypsy Bare Knuckle fighting and its rules and to really clarify the rules, all right? Because we have lots and lots of stuff on who would win fights and which form. But I'll explain the rules of Gypsy Bare Knuckle fighting and why it's the fairest, clearly the fairest. So Bare Knuckle fighting started legally. Um, it was sanctioned and recognised, um, you know, by the rich and famous and wealthy people, yeah, will put fights on it. Back as early as 1661, the sport derived from England, right? Okay, that's its origins. And um, I think they had the first champion called uh, James Figg in uh, 1719. So we're talking just over 300 years ago there, the first champion. And the rules then was, you know, three minute rounds, um, or unless a bloke had uh, got knocked down, he'd go back to the corner. So that was a bit, those rules weren't quite fair to me because if you was somebody was doing a job on you, you needed a rest. You could take a knee, go down, and it would signal end of round. Okay, so that's why to me that left a big a big void there. Um, we have what we call now this BKB bare knuckle boxing, and um, that too in itself um, that to me is not quite as fair as it should be. In three minute rounds, you wear bandages and you have gum shields. Well, that's not bare knuckle, yeah, because you have bandages on, right? And um, you have protection, okay? And also, you can win a fight there and not be the favoured fighter and lose it, okay? So you wouldn't always get the fair result there. But um, the bandages um, was not the origin and the gum shield. I was at a fight once at Epsom Downs and um, Johnny Love since passed on, hard fighting man was fighting, I think it was Tony Coyle, and Johnny Love had done some damage and was wearing bandages because he damaged his hands and the fight weren't allowed to go on. It was, it was um, forbidden from the other camp and the fight never happened as a result, yeah. So it used to be bare knuckle was exactly what it meant, right, yeah. Okay, so it was. Now, have a look, listen to this. This is Lenny, Lenny McLean's version, right, of, listen to this, of, of his version of On the Cobbles. Watch this. Well, say we're having a fight, you shave up, right? right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> We're the game. Right. So that's how I would do. Now you start fighting like this, and this is when it becomes brutal and and vicious and spiteful and um, way out of context of sport. Okay, bare knuckle fighting is a tough game anyway, yeah. But uh, it, it can. It was a sport, and it can still be deemed as a sport to some, yeah, and a fair way of setting the scores. But you start doing what Lenny's just referred to here. Um, asked John Fury. Uh, he had an altercation with a fellow traveller in um, a car auction in the north. And um, it went messy and Fury gouged the man's eye out. And as a result, he got 11 years in prison. So there were no winners there. That had become too brutal, yeah? And that's not fair. I'm not, look, I'm, I'm not... People do all manner of violence. I'm not condoning. They do... I, I'm, look... I'm not supporting any form of violence, all right, let's get this right. But, somebody wants to commit a violent act, it's their business. In John Fury's case, he'd he done 11 years in prison for it, so he, he paid the price. But surely, had he had, an, you know, had, had he time to think about it, that wouldn't have been the case, you know, going away from lengthy periods of time from your family. Um, but if you are going to fight, it's got to be gypsy, bare knuckle. Now, let me tell you the rules. The bloke that would officiate the fight, He's a fair play man, yeah, um, basically a referee, and that bloke could not be a seven stone weakling. That man would be somebody of notoriety, so he would get the respect of yourself. So, example, Johnny Franken, former king of the gypsies, no doubt, um, he ref many, many, many fights, you know, fair played many, many fights. Mark Ripley, um, he ref the two Jimmy Stockings fights, one with uh, Creamy Eastwood and one with uh, Kenny Signs. Yeah, so you see, if you found the rules, yeah, you're potentially facing um, these people with massive, massive reputations. You also let your honour down. So the rules are, what are the rules? It's quite simple. You go out there and there's no rest, there's no bandages, there's no gum shields, all right? And the only way you win is by knockout or by somebody surrendering. And you can surrender at any given time. You don't have to be some brave warrior if you don't want to. You can go out there, you can surrender at any time. And you cannot stop a fight through injury. The referee cannot stop a fight through injury. That's down to the individual, all right? So however much they want to put their life on the line, they can go. 
So fights can be stopped through injury, no rest, it's either knockout or surrender. So it shows this um, bravery, it shows this um, endurance of stamina, um, bravery with, with taking punches, and of course you have the skill of where you can land blows and knock out. And that can be done. So looking for an early win, um, listen to what Lenny McLean has to say. Listen to this. Keep yourself fit. Always be strong and train hard. Even though bare knuckle fighting don't normally last more than two minutes, but always keep yourself fit and strong. Fight's over in just two minutes. Um, most knuckle fights, not the knuckle fights I've seen. If somebody like Lenny, uh, they can be, but that's a dangerous game in itself. If you've got your pride and you want to win your bet for your family or the massive side bet or whatever, the Honor fight, whatever it's made for, if you want to win that one, it's a massive, massive risk you going out, emptying your tank, trying to take somebody out in two minutes, and these boys are trained to fight for one and a half, two hours. You, if you think that's exaggerated, I promise you faithfully it ain't. Yeah, I've seen fights, I've been involved in lengthy, lengthy fights myself, but I've seen, witnessed and heard many fights go one and a half, two hours, right? So if you think you can just go and obliterate this man, maybe possibly you can. And if that tactic works, great. But these boys defend, hold on, when your tank empties, you don't have any chair to go and sit down and rest that, yeah? There's no chair, I see you. What happens when you empty your tank? Yeah, and the man's still got plenty in his because he's defended himself for a couple of minutes. So that in itself is a dangerous game to play. So a couple of Lenny's tactics there would not have worked ideal in the gypsy knuckle fight. And yeah, he could blow, blow some people over in a couple of minutes. Of course he could have, but there have been many that he couldn't. and. That in itself would have been not a very good tactic. God bless Lenny, um, and one of the best defenders um, of himself ever. He would really defend himself. He's not here to defend himself now, and I'm not having a go. God bless you, Lenny. I'm just stating the facts of our fight and that fight, and the different different rules. That's all I'm stating. But by not adhering to the rules, using head and button and biting um, those things are completely outlawed. You're only allowed to punch, yeah, as in the boxing rules, from the hit target, yeah, and that's it. There's no rest. There the rules explained. So you punch in the correct targets, you can't hit low, you can't bite, you can't butt, you can't gouge, you just have to hit correctly because if you fell them rules, waiting right beside you is one of the hardest men in the UK. So that's the rules explained and I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's explained stuff so that's why it's the fairest set of rules gypsy bare knuckle is the fairest what we'll tell you young guys out there shake hands and not fight you'll be better off okay or if you're any good get the gloves on yeah because it is becoming a thing of the past all right it takes a bigger man to walk away okay or get your gloves on but if you can't settle it that way best way to settle it is a good old-fashioned gypsy bare knuckle fight hope this is explaining the rules and the difference of our rules to those and why it's the best thanks for tuning in